Good morning friends. Today we will discuss one of the most important topic of particle physics. Eightfold way, a way to quarks. We found that as the number of particles in the world of particle physics gets increased, there were many efforts to get order in this world. Many classification schemes were proposed. Sakata model was one of them. In 1961, Gilman and Neiman proposed a new model of classification known as Eightfold Way. They classified all hadrons into families or super multiplets using the concept group. In eightfold way, super multiplets are larger sets formed from multiplets. That is, many multiplets form a super multiplet. We know that multiplet members have the same spin, baryon number, strangeness and isospin but super multiplets having same spin baryon number and parity but may have different strangeness and different isospin gilman and neiman showed that just as the particles of a multiplet can be regarded as different states of a basic particle in isospin. Particles in a super multiplet can be regarded as different states of a basic particle in unitary spin. So we will see some examples for this way of classification. The first one is octet of semi-stable mesons. The octet name is due to the number of elements in this family is 8. See this is the octet of semi-stable mesons. This is represented in SI3 plane where this S is a strangeness along the y-axis and the I3 is the third component of the isospin along the x-axis and this super multiplet has four multiplets. This consists of four multiplets. This first one is this doublet k0, k plus doublet and k minus there and the particle doublet that is k minus and k0 bar are another doublet and there is one tip triplet pi minus pi zero pi plus and there is one singlet eta zero so this is the uh, representation of this octet and all these have spin is equal to zero the baryon number is equal to zero since all are mesons and all have all are with odd parity or parity is equal to minus one so if each mem family members are brothers means if each multiplet members are considered as brothers members of different families means members of different multiplets in the same super multiplet are the first cousins a similar structure was also obtained for the baryons, the octet of semi-stable baryons. So the members are the doublet of nucleons, the psi doublets, and the sigma triplets, and the singlet lambda zero. So all these members have spins equal to half 
baryon number a is equal to 1 and parity e1 parity or plus 1 parity. So this super multiplets consists of 4 multiplets. So they form an octet symmetry in a psi 3 plane and hence the name eightfold way. Really the name is hired from the eightfold ways of life in Buddhism. So this is the eightfold ways of life in Buddhism, eight uh, principles, eight fundamental principles of Buddhism. Gelman and Niemann suggested that the strong interaction will be invariant under three-dimensional unitary group SU3 and is said to have a SU3 flavor symmetry. Now this is another octet of Masonic resonances. See, these are the octet of Masonic resonances. Again, this is the doublet, the resonance doublet of K0 and K plus that is K star 0 and K star plus this star represents the resonance particle of K. And the antiparticles K star minus and K star 0 bar. And this row are the triplet, row particles are the triplets and are the resonance particles of the pi that is row minus row 0 and row plus and this phi is the singlet and is the resonance particle of eta 0. And all these have spins equal to 1, baryon number a is equal to 1 and odd parity or parity is equal to minus 1. Now there is one another symmetrical figure of decuplet of baryonic resonances. In a psi 3 plane, the baryonic resonances form a decuplet. See, these are the quadruplet means a multiplet of four members that is delta minus, delta zero, delta plus and delta plus plus. And these are the triplet of sigma family, that is sigma star minus, sigma star zero, sigma star plus, and this is again the doublet of psi family, that is psi star minus and psi star zero, and this one is the omega minus. See, all these have spins equal to three by two, and baryon number is equal to one, and even parity, or parity is equal to plus one. So now we will discuss the great success of the Eightfold Way. In 1961, only seven semi-stable Masons were known. Both Sakata model and Eightfold Way predicted existence of the particle eta zero, the eighth one. The Eightfold Way predicted the mass of the particle also. It predicted the mass will be approximately 570 mAv. Later, it was discovered with almost the same properties with mass approximately 550 mAv, very near to this predicted mass. And we can also surely predict the, uh, the strangeness, uh, this baryon number, the spin, the parity from all those things from the shape of the super multiplet. Another test, another success was a decisive test between Sakata model and Eightfold V. The prediction of spin of psi particles which was unknown at that time. Eightfold way predicted one by two spin like other members in the octet, other members in the semi octet of semi-stable baryons, while 
Sakata model predicted a spin of 3 by 2. Finally, it was measured as 1 by 2 supporting the 8 fold way and negating the Sakata model. Now, another victory of the 8 fold way was the discovery of omega minus. In decuplet of baryonic resonances, Omega minus was initially unknown due to, due to this delta family, delta quadruplet family having four members, they cannot be an octet or they cannot accommodate in an octet. The other possibilities are decuplet or super multiplet of 27 members means other possibilities are the super multiplet of 10 members or 27 members. Later, when some experiments to find the resonance particles of 27 super multiplet failed, Gelman and, uh, Gelman and Neiman predicted that it would be a decuplet. And in 1962, they predicted its properties, including means they predicted the properties of this omega minus, since omega minus was unknown at that time, all other particles were known, uh, and they predicted the properties of this omega minus, including the strangeness, the isospin, the baryon number, the spin, the parity, charge, etc. Even the mass was also predicted as approximately 1680 MeV. Since you can see in each step, here in each step, the mass is increased by approximately uh, 150 MeV, nearly 150 MeV. So up to this, these three levels were known at that time and this fourth one, this lowest level this omega minus bar was unknown so they calculated the approximate mass should be again the 1530 plus 150 that is 1680 and finally in 1963 omega minus was discovered with the predicted properties and it was the great victory of the Eightfold Way. And the, all the scientific eyes were attracted to the world of particle physics since this kind of prediction and later this kind of verification. Okay, next, in the next class, we will discuss how this Eightfold Way leading to the quarks model. Okay, thank you.